Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. In the last episode we were promised a hot passionate night of fun with Miss Sylvia Cristel, but we've got to take out this assassin first. What's the assassin's name? Harvey Moisevich Volodarsky, I think. I've taken the opportunity of saving already, but I wanted to just show you what wrestling move we learned from this mask. It is... Well, we've got to read the note first. Travis, you've become a masterful pro wrestler. I think I'll book a match for you. But first, a super hard suplex. Remember Satan's Ferris wheel? The double arm suplex. Yep, we remember the double arm suplex. I know what one of them is. But now I am nervous. So freaking nervous. Because this guy has an instant kill move that I'm not really ready for. So... Let's go to the cutscene and hopefully the sight of the beautiful Miss Sylvia Christelle will calm my nerves. Let's roll. You are late, handsome. Hurry, the show's about to start. What's with all the excitement? It is not every day you get to watch a big fight from VIP seats. Of course I am excited, but I am most excited being with you. Whoa, you're serious. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm packing heat, baby. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, and all killers out there, welcome to Harvey Volodarsky's magic freak show of the century. It'll be a killer night, so let's get started. It's showtime! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh my! Quiet, quiet, please! What do you know? It's already time for the last program. But you know, today is a special day. And you, ladies and gentlemen, are lucky. So lucky that you might even get lucky. Now, one of you lucky people will be chosen to be up here with me. Who's it gonna be? The lucky person is... You! Well, Travis, this is your lucky night. Me? They want me? Serious? You gotta be kidding. Go get him, Tiger. Come on, no need to be shy. Congratulations, you nasty little boy. Tell the audience your name. Travis Touchdown. It's a good name, don't you think? It's a fine name indeed. You have your parents to thank for that. My parents are dead. Oops, touchy subject. A question that should not be touched upon. That's okay. Really, it is. Dear, dear, don't let it bother you. Hold on to your hopes and don't give up, my nasty little boy. Thanks. I'll remember that. So you came to enjoy the show? Damn right I did. I was really looking forward to this. It's the last show, right? Last show? Did I hear you right? Oh, you heard me right. Harvey, you're gonna die tonight, right here, by my hand. Let's close the curtains. I hope you aren't being serious. That would be a pity. We still have the main event to unveil. Playtime is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! On to the grand finale! Now this is entertainment! It's killing time! Yep, yeah, we are killing Chris Angel. <laughs> no, we are not. This guy is a magician, and he, even though I'm not a big fan of the fight, I'm a big fan of his... Well, I'm a big fan of him. He's a very cool guy. Well, yeah, that's pretty hard to dodge. 
Oh, run away, run away, run away. Oh. The best to run away from is spin attack. Which I don't seem to be doing very well. Wait till his normal combo. Oh. Oh. Right. <laughs> I'm not doing too well here, am I? Let me explain some of his attacks. He likes to disappear a lot. And he does a, a three prong shot like that. He'll it, it's kind of like a one two three effort. He, he'll disappear a lot, as I said. You want to always watch out for him. The spin attack you can dodge by running away from it. And that charge you want to that charge shot you want to really uh, watch out for. Oh god, what's he done there? He is a bit of a mysterious guy, so always keep an eye on him. <laughs> always keep pressing your Z button to lock onto him. And just, just pick your moments. Because um, he, he's pretty deadly. One of, one of my favourite attacks of his, um, when you get into a circle clash, he, if you lose that circle clash, he will turn your uh, saber into a magic wand, which does absolutely no damage whatsoever. Lots of fun. Ah, crap. I am running out of battery power. Let's charge up quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, right, where are you? Yeah, you just you want to watch out for that free charge attack, because once he does his final uh, thrust, uh, he's very vulnerable, like that. But I didn't actually get to attack him then, so he wasn't close enough. He also likes to fire birds about. He likes to uh, do some other interesting crap as well. As I said, he does have an instant kill move. Um, I'll explain that when it actually gets to it. I, I was thinking about showing you the uh, magic wand attack there, but I kind of want to kill this guy. So, uh, no. <laughs> Right, what's he up to? Right, he does fire these birds out quite a lot. Um, I think he was just gloating that. I should have really attacked. Yeah, the spin attack, just run away from it. If you've got, if you need lots of room to run away from it though, uh, don't just evade from it like I tried to do at the start of the fight. He's most vulnerable after those triple attacks. Uh, you can get him on the dark step as well. Oh, got me there. I'll be using the health for sure. Right, where is he? Right, is he spinning? Yeah, he's spinning. He is very vulnerable after the spin attack as well. So get a few hits in there. It's kind of just like the last um, guy. Um, not last shake, uh, Destroy Man. Just get your hits in when you can. Oh yeah, this is one of his attacks by the way. Your controls are inverted and everything is upside down and I hate it. Oh, but it doesn't last very long. My god, I am losing badly here. Run away, run away, far away. Oh, wrestling move, yes. Lift him up, bang. Perfect. Right, where's my health? I need the health. Crap. Uh, oh, right, it's firing birds. Birds are easy to dodge, just uh, run away from them. Or you can just do an evade roll as well. He does have his instant kill attack still to come. Oh god, he's doing this again. I hate it when he does this. His instant kill, he does it. Uh, he doesn't do it very often. He's, he doesn't spam it, which is always good because you don't want instant kill. But even though even though it is an instant kill attack, you can uh, get out of the instant kill situation. Hopefully, I won't need to show you. Try to get a dark side in there. I hate magicians. <laughs> magicians can go to hell. I'm going to run backwards here and try and get the battery power. Oh, I'm failing here. I'm failing again. This is probably going to be a two-part episode as well, guys. I'm sorry. There's a cutscene in the end. Ah, run away! Ah, oh, damn it. See, none of these attacks are necessarily really strong, um, but, you know, you've got, to, you've got to just got to dodge them anyway. Right, oh, is it instant kill time? Um, I don't know. Uh, no, it's not instant kill time. You've got to try and listen to what he says, because what he says will signify what attack's coming. The problem is, I record with the volume on really low, so it's pretty hard to actually hear it. Right, here we go. This, I think this is instant kill. 
Is it? No. Okay. Oh yeah, this sets, it, there'll be a spotlight above you. If you dodge the spotlight, then uh, you'll do fine. I didn't Welcome dodge it, I don't think. The this is the instant kill attack. Can I get out of it? Let's see if I can. Now I'm look, hoping I can. Look I don't know what to do. You get you get uh, button commands. Right, don't press the wrong button or I'm screwed. Right, um... Am I dead? Am I dead? Did I escape? Did I escape? Did I escape? Yes! Come on! I escaped. Thank God for that. Oh, that was a clip. That was a close call, but I'm gonna pause it there, guys. I know it's a short video, but I wanna get the final cutscene in. So, Volodowski is doing pretty badly at the minute. We've escaped his instant kill attack. He's about got about a quarter health left. Can we finish the Russian magician off? Find out next time on Let's Play No More Heroes. See you later, guys.